Hello everybody and welcome to my unboxing and demonstration of the SimTask Farmstick by Thrustmaster. A massive thank you to Thrustmaster for providing these pieces of hardware for review. So we have the Farmstick itself, we also have the SimTask steering kit, which we'll come on to later in the video, and of course the steering wheel, the T248. So the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is the SimTask Farmstick. So let's open up the box. First of all, we do have a few little instructions in here, and then the stick itself. Now, of course, the farm stick is designed for heavy machinery and farm machinery. Uh, it's plug and play with Farming Simulator 22, and it's a multifunctional stick with 33 buttons, which are automatically mapped to the controls of each vehicle. As you can see, it is ergonomically designed, and it is directly inspired by the interiors of high-end modern tractors and farming equipment with realistic dimensions. Sometimes it's really difficult on a video to be able to tell what the finish of a product is like. So we're going to do a really high quality close up so you can see the buttons are very nice and smooth. There's no really sharp edges and it's all very nicely finished. Something which I've noticed is all of the buttons which are commonly used are in a very nice position. So again, let's go back to the ergonomically designed comment. It is just really user friendly. And on the back, we have the USB. So before I actually get this set up, I want to really just quickly demonstrate it and show you what all the buttons do. My immediate reaction to the actual joystick is just how smooth it is. It just feels like you're operating a real machine. And the build quality does feel to be comparable to an actual tractor. So let's just very quickly run through the different buttons. First of all, on the top left, we have the scroll wheel. This is actually the toggle cruise control wheel. So you can scroll up and down to adjust it, and if you press it in, you'll set it. Then we have a mini joystick. This is used to look around, and if you press that in, it will actually change the camera view. Now, these are actually both multifunctional switches, depending on what you're doing. If you're in work mode, the one on the right will raise and lower the front load at all. The one on the left will extend and retract the front loader arm, crane, or header reel, depending on what machine you're in. If you're in driving mode, the one on the left will shift the gears up and down, and the one on the right will shift the gear groups up and down. Beneath this, we have tool function one, the raise and lower tool button, which looks like a lower link arm. And then we have the change direction button. That's why we have up and down arrows. Underneath this, we have F1, F2, and what looks to be a hydraulic ram button. So first of all, we've got F1, that is to fold and unfold a tool. F2 is tool function two. And finally, the ram is to select the next tool. And of course, not forgetting the button on the back, this is to toggle work mode and driving mode. And then we have the keypads at the bottom, starting with the shop, the map, and then the open menu button. The next group over is to fasten and unfasten the tension belt and also to toggle the pipe and to open and close the cover. Then we have the change bale size and change seeds button. I'm guessing that one is the equivalent to pressing Y on the keyboard, very familiar with that one. And then the very bottom one is to toggle the help text. And then further forward, we have the one which is to enter and leave the vehicle. Further forward, we have all of the very commonly used ones like starting the engine, it will also stop the engine. Then we have select previous vehicle, select next vehicle. And the one in the middle is actually a combo button. So this is used in conjunction with other buttons. Then around here we have tool function three. If you use it with combo, it's unload and dump. Then we have tool function four with combo, it's use object. And then attach and detach tool with combo, that is toggle tip side. Moving around the front, we have toggle light. And if that's used with combo, we've got light front. And then we have got the toggle work mode button. And then we have fold and unfold all tools. Moving around the front, we have toggle beacon light and with combo hazard lights. So there we have a summary of all the buttons on this joystick. So I will be getting this set up and I'm going to demonstrate it in this video, but first we have the steering kit and the wheel to quickly look at. So the SimTask steering kit is basically a bracket which allows you to mount the steering wheel in a flat configuration. This is to make it much more immersive for when using heavy machinery and vehicles. And you also do have the addition of the rotary steering wheel knob, which just basically enhances the agility and enables you to operate a joystick or a shifter with your other hand. So as you can see, we do have all of the components which do just get screwed together. And there is also a QR code that you can scan to give you some nice in-depth instructions. And here is the steering wheel knob. As you can see, this basically does just clamp onto the wheel. And it just makes it so much nicer to operate the machine. Anyway, I'm going to assemble this in just a second and we're going to see the steering wheel mounted to it. But first, let's take a look at the T248 steering wheel itself. Now, of course, you can read about all of the main key features on the Thrustmaster website. But just to give you a brief summary, it has a dashboard display which can actually show more than 20 different displays. It has a dynamic force feedback, so three different types of preset 
force feedback modes, 25 action buttons with plenty of remapping options, a new hybrid system, it's 70% more powerful than the T150, magnetic paddles, so super fast gear shifting, and magnetic pedals including four brake pressure modes. Okay, so with all that said, we have finally got to the stage where I can lift the pedals and the steering wheel out of the box, and we can have a very quick look at them before I set them up. So very stylish, very expensive looking, and here we have the pedals as well. You can see the spring on the brake pedal. And in this triangular shaped box we do have instructions, we've got the clamp to basically mount it to the uh, desk, and some other bits and bobs as well. And here is a close-up of all the buttons and the dashboard display on the steering wheel. Okay then, so I'm going to get all of this set up and I'm going to see you in just one second. Okay then, we're ready to go. We've got the Thrustmaster T248 steering wheel on the steering kit and we've got the Sim Task farm stick all set up and ready to go. And it's so nice because we don't actually need the mouse. We can look around using the mini joystick on the main joystick. So as you can see, looking at this field here, I have done a bit of harvesting and some baling and we're going to, in this little demonstration video, attempt to stack bales onto a trailer. So we can actually move on to the next vehicle by pressing this button here as previously shown here is our JCB and we're already set up with the bale spike as you can see you can change the view by pressing the little joystick button in we can look around so it's just very very comfortable to use and of course yeah most importantly very very fluid movement of the boom we can extend and retract the boom as well. I did actually just change that key, so it's on this one here. I like the feeling of that. It's, uh, I think, actually the same as a real telehandler, having it on there, unless, of course, they're all different. Maybe they are. But yeah, very, very smooth. And of course, the further forward or the further back you move the stick, the faster the boom will move. So, let's give this a go. So I have already attempted to do two here. I've stacked one on top of the other, and anybody who has watched my videos before will know that I'm really not the best at stacking bales. So let's see if my skills can be improved whilst using the farm stick. I'm sure they can. Okay, so obviously this is the first time I've used this, so it's going to take a bit of practice. Practice makes perfect with anything. Uh, and also, if you are to use this farm stick for forestry, you could even have two. And then it would be even easier to control the crane on those forestry machines. Okay, so I wasn't that aligned, but I've got it onto the trailer and I've not knocked them off yet. So now let's head over here. We've got lots and lots of bales to choose from. For some reason they're mostly at this end of the field, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll stick in first person view for immersion. That is the nice thing about this farm stick, it's just really going to add a lot of immersion to the game. Really does feel like you're driving a real telehandler. So there we go, that's that bale. I've just nudged the next bale to try and align it. There we go, and now we can put that on top of the first one. That's the thing about first person view as well, it does make it easier to see where your tines are. But yeah, I just love that and I love being able to boom out so easily. Because otherwise you're using the mouse. So you're booming out using the mouse, like holding a mouse button in and then moving the mouse left and right to actually extend and retract. I guess I should put my trailer in a more accessible place. I think we'll take it further down the field. Okay, so there we go. We've got four bales on the trailer already. Let's just look behind us. Oh, looks like my hitch is actually over here. Okay, so we're all attached. I've just put a strap over those first ones so I don't lose them. So we'll head further down the field and we will load a few more onto here. If I would probably load them all up. 
it makes sense to do that. So let's just position the trailer sort of central here. Okay, there we go. And who knows, I've never time-lapsed a video where I'm in first-person view using a joystick. So let's see what this looks like. I've done plenty of time-lapses of just stacking bales, but that's always been using the mouse and keyboard. Well, I do use the steering wheel as well, but I don't stack, obviously. I don't use the, the controls for the telehandler, for the boom, with the steering wheel. So let's see how realistic we can make this look. Of course, somebody who does this for a living in real life is going to be an expert at it. Let's see what I'm like. <laughs> Probably no comparison, but we'll see. I do have the help of the fantastic farm stick. And this is our final pair of bales. Well, that has been fast. I thought I'd made quite a few, but apparently not. It just makes it so fast and easy to load them when using the stick. And of course the steering wheel as well. It's nice to have the steering knob, that makes it very easy to control the machine. And of course, true to life, you can actually see the steering knob in the JCB, in the game. Yeah, so yeah, obviously the two together, the T248 wheel and pedals and the farm stick, they just work so perfectly together. Right, well, that is us done. How did I do? Well, as I said, anybody who's watched my videos before will know that that is probably the best I've ever done. Um, still definitely room for improvement. They're overhanging a bit, but they're still really not bad at all. Okay then, we're attached. Actually, I should just jump out. We'll put the uh, the ratchet straps on. There we go. Of course, there is a shortcut for that on the stick itself, but I always like to get out to put the straps on. And I believe we are good to go. So let's go and sell them. It's basically 100,000 litres of straw. And it works just as well from a third person view. We've also got the cruise control, so if we were using uh, this machine for like going up and down the field with a cultivator, setting it with this scroll wheel here, that's all set. You can increase it, reduce the speed. If you press it in, that will turn off cruise control or turn it on again, depending on what you have it set to. And of course, all of the other buttons have their own use depending on the job that you're actually doing. I just thought for this demonstration video bale stacking was perfect because I'm not good at it. This is the one thing which is obviously going to really help me <laughs> to improve my skills and it yeah it's going to. It's brilliant. Very very good. And I just love how smooth it is. It's just so fluid if you know what I mean. Like It just feels like you're sat in an actual machine controlling the boom. Yeah, it's definitely not clunky, it's not cheap feeling. It really is a decent piece of hardware. And I've only used it for, what, half an hour? It really does feel like a solid thing. Okay, right. I actually have never played this map properly before, so I need to go and find out where the cell point is. Here we are. So when we solve these, I just want to show you the actual steering kit properly, because we can position the steering wheel in so many different places to basically suit the vehicle that you're operating and to make it as comfortable as possible for you as the player. 
So there we go. We already have loads of money, so that was just ready uh, to uh, complete the job that we'd started. But that is a quick demonstration of the, uh, the farm stick, and I absolutely love it. And just to show you very quickly the adjustments you can make on the steering kit, you can basically change the angle and the height of the wheel to suit your preferences. So just a very nice mounting to make this more immersive when using that heavy machinery. Once you're happy with the position, you basically just lock it in with several wing nuts. They just tighten with ease. So I just wanna say in conclusion that the SimTask farm stick is just an absolutely incredible addition to Farming Simulator. It makes it easier to play and definitely far more immersive. And of course, if you do have the correct Thrustmaster steering wheels for the steering kit, it is worth getting that as well because it just makes it so much more comfortable to operate those machines. Anyway, finally, a big thank you to Thrustmaster. Always very much appreciated. And until the next video, see you again soon. Bye for now.